warm, flaky, and ridiculously sweet, these stuffed waffles seem like they would take forever to make, but what if I told you I have a super quick hack for making them in no time? Are you ready to know the secret ingredient? Puff pastry. The pre-made flaky dough is perfect for cooking up in the waffle iron, plus it already comes in sheets, making it really easy to stuff with all those yummy fillings, and you don't have to make a batter. So I'm just gonna take my puff pastry out, separate it just like this. Now I'm using a round waffle iron, so I'm gonna cut my puff pastry into two circles, but if you're using a square waffle iron, you don't gotta fuss with that. And I've already been heating it on a medium to high heat. So here's one square. I mean, how easy is that? <laughs> and our second square. No bowls, no eggs, no milk, no flour, no nothing. We're already ready to rock and roll. So the easiest way to make my circle is actually to put one square on top of the other. And I'm just gonna eyeball it and cut it with my knife. Now you wanna make sure that it fits inside of the waffle iron. The good thing is I can save this excess puff pastry for later. There we go. Let's just do a little check. Yep, that'll fit. Now what I love about these stuffed pastry waffles is that you can really have fun with all the fillings. I'm talking Nutella, cookie butter, peanut butter, marshmallows, chocolate, berries, really anything you would want in a traditional waffle, put it inside of a puffle. Hmm. I'm gonna do Nutella. Now the key to making a delicious stuffed waffle is you wanna leave about an inch border around just so that when you put the top of the waffle on the bottom, none of those yummy fillings squirt out. And because I just love marshmallows, especially when it's warm outside, marshmallows. Looking good, and I'll just save the rest for toppings later. Now put the other piece right on top, and it's almost like we're making a jumbo pierogi or a big ravioli. Hey, and speaking of pierogies, you could actually make puffles savory too, and fill them with yummy things like ham and cheese or chorizo, bacon. Look how easy this is. Now if your puff pastry has a tendency to stick to the cutting board, just throw down a little bit of flour ahead of time. Yep, looks good. All right, now I can already feel the heat from my waffle iron. I'm just gonna spray it with a little bit of nonstick cooking spray. And then put this little puffle directly in the center of my waffle iron. And then just go for it. Now here's the hard part. You have to wait five to six minutes until this thing is cooked. Mm, oh my gosh, it smells like Nutella in here. Oh wow, this looks awesome. Okay, now what should I top this with? little whipped cream, that sounds good, and some berries. Oh, I cannot wait to try this. Mmm, I forgot to put marshmallow in there. This is so good. Oh my goodness, you guys have got to try this. Don't forget to tag your photo on Instagram with hashtag eatthetrend. I'm Brandy, I'll see you next time, bye.